Uh, yeah, I'm wearing a suit. I have to wear one occasionally. Uh, yeah, so uh, tonight's the, the launch of our new premises. So we've moved into this uh, unit here and we're, we've invited along some guests. Well, to be frank, what I'd like to discover is just a little more about what a nanoparticle is. I have the faintest idea, but the, the, my nano knowledge of nanoparticles might just conceivably be slightly extended. I think it's a statement that we're growing. We've invited our investors along to show them what we're doing with their money, and uh, it's a good story. So we, we wanted to invite all the people that have an, a stake in the company and show them what we've done in the last uh, year or so. Well, I've only come 10 minutes down the road, to be fair, from where I live. Uh, but I've come because it's, uh, it's a new company. It's a very high-tech company. Uh, it's going into new areas. We just need lots and lots of companies of this kind. And I also like to hear when they're being spun off from Nottingham University, which is rather ahead of most universities in terms of having this uh, development of what's invented by the academics here and this link with the wider economy. So on the wall behind you, you can see... There are all the plans for the new site that we're building. So we, again, it's just about sort of saying what we're doing with, uh, with the company. This was a pre-meeting for the investors. So it's the chance for us to actually talk about exactly what we're doing and who we're working with. So we don't have to worry about, um, you know, saying the Japanese car company or, you know, we don't have to pretend that uh, uh, or, or hide names. So this was really just to explain to the investors what we're doing. I think it would probably be a bit unpleasant if we weren't doing too well, but obviously it's a good story and it's a great chance to, to tell them what we're planning to do. Uh, none of them are engineers, I don't think any of them are scientists, so uh, we do have to try and explain the significance of technical breakthroughs that we've made. So we've made a few things recently which uh, are new materials that we've not made before. So we're, again, there's lots to tell them and it's just saying, you know, we're busy, we're successful and we're moving forward. We're going to have a, a tour of the labs later on. That, that will probably mean nothing to me. I have a, I had a little. I've just had an explanation of uh, one of the applications which I think I understood. I, I'm not very sociable really. <laughs> I have to pretend to be. but. Um, it's, yeah, it's just a great chance to, to see people. So it is fun, yeah, but I, I wouldn't want to do this every day. Now, my passion is for startup companies, high tech companies, a modern economy. Now, I, I'm, uh, my generation, I went to a very good school and therefore, being regarded as pretty bright, didn't do much science. Uh, nowadays, I'm glad to say that would be impossible. My scientific education would not be so neglected. So, I'm an enthusiast, but an ignorant enthusiast of science at this level. I just have uh, no, I mean, I'm con I have no possible expertise in the area. It gives me great pleasure to unveil oh. Black at the new site of Promethean Particles. <laughs> A fraction of the price. I thought, that's great. And I went home. And my brother, who'd heard it as well, he said, Ed, Dad's got some white wine.